In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a timer or a command with your latest YouTube video. This is all with Stream Elements. My name is Trui and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash Trui. I'd love to welcome you there. So to do this, we go to streamelements.com and log in with our Twitch. I think you can also do this with YouTube, but I'm not 100% sure on it because I've never streamed on YouTube myself. To make a command, we're going to go to the left here, scroll down and click on chat commands. There it is, on your bots. If it's folded, you will just see this just so unfolded. Go to custom and add a new command. You can kind of name it whatever, but I recommend using something like latest YouTube video or latest video or something like that. So let's do video. As a response, we're gonna have to paste a code. I'll leave that underneath in the description. I most likely gonna add an enter. You gotta have to remove the enter because otherwise YouTube will shorten the link and you can't see the full link anymore. This link is actually an API. So copy the whole thing. And now what we need to do is we need to find our YouTube ID. That's right here. And we have to replace this these capital letters with YouTube ID. So what we need to do for that is we need to go to youtube.com slash account underscore advanced. I'll leave this underneath in the description as well. Then here we see user ID and channel ID. Right now I have them hidden for myself. I think I'm not supposed to show them, so I'm not gonna show them. Copy the channel ID. So there's a button here that says copy. If we click on that, we copied it. Now we're going back to stream elements and here in the user ID, we will paste it. So we remove it and then paste. I'm gonna wait with that for a second because you guys are not supposed to see it. And then we can set some advanced settings here. Keep this on say there is a cooldown that you can set for just one person or for everybody in chat and if you want them to be able to do it online and offline or both. The thing with this is it's gonna exactly say which video it is plus the link. So if you want to say something in front of it we can do uh, like Tree's latest YouTube video is And then we click on activate command. Let me go to Twitch and go to my own channel. Right here we go to chat and we're typing video because that's how we called the command. Tree's latest YouTube video is Nightbot. Let viewers tweet about your stream. I know this is a video from a bit ago and that's because I secretly recording this. I don't know which day it is. But like you see, it's giving me the link to the video. If I scroll over, you can see it's the video and it will actually say how it is called. So if you want something in front of it, just type it in front of it like this. So what you can also do is instead of just putting it in a command, we can also let it pop into chat every now and then. We can do that by going back to stream elements and then going to timers here. We can add a timer and here timer name, a video, enter message, watch Trui her new video. And then we're going to have to paste it again. Copy the link from the description again, remove YouTube ID right here and paste your YouTube ID that you get from YouTube. Copy this again, copy, and then we paste it here again, just before the bracket. Again, I'm not gonna paste it yet because then you guys can see it. We can add multiple messages in one timer if you want multiple timers running. I would recommend adding more messages in one timer. And then we can set how often you want it. Five minutes for online, 30 on it. offline. We can just set this whatever we want. Just drag this thing or type it here. And then this says chat lines. If you want it just to be on the amount of minutes, like for example, 17, you keep this on zero and it will do it every 17 minutes. If you set this higher for like, um, I don't know, 84 messages. So if we set it on 84 like this, what it needs to do to trigger is 84 messages have been sent in your chat. So one person said 84 things or multiple people said 84 things at the same time and 17 minutes have been passed and then this will trigger. So I recommend not putting this on high, maybe like five chat lines and five things have been said in your chat. If you have like a super busy chat, you want to set this on higher, but otherwise just keep it on something low or maybe even zero and then activate the timer. It will give you the same result as with the command, but you don't have to do the command name every time you want it to pop up. It will just pop up every uh, 17 minutes right now, but you can set that whatever you want. I can't really show the timer that much because I don't want to wait on the timer to go off, but believe me, it works. <laughs> so this is how you share your latest YouTube video on your Twitch stream or on your YouTube stream. I've got a ton more videos about stream elements, so let's jump into this playlist all about stream elements. See you there.